It is important to make sure the tag axle, like the rest of the mixer, is always kept clean for visual inspections and mechanical integrity. The tag axle must be lowered and used when transporting loads that are over 4 or 5 yards, depending on the manufacturer. When exiting the cab, be sure to maintain four points of contact as seen here. We will begin by first unlocking the manual chute lock. We will then unlock the air chute lock. Use the manual chute lock to rotate and center the main chute. Then re-engage the air chute lock. Next, remove the safety chain. You will now be able to partially lower the fold over chute until the chute stop catches it. Remove any debris sitting on the rock blocker to avoid having it fall on you or anyone else later. You may now release the chute stop to fully lower the fold over chute for cleaning. Wearing gloves is important due to the presence of multiple high pinch points. Gently close the fold over chute and reapply the safety chain. Double check that the chute is locked into place and then use the mixer up and down switch to fully lower the chute. Inside the cab is a chute centering indicator light. Depending on the manufacturer of the mixer, the indicator will either illuminate to tell you the chute is centered or not centered. Use the chute switch until it is centered and the light turns off. An indicator light is also present to let you know when the tag axle is in motion. Eliminate moving any distance when the tag axle is in motion. Dropping the tag axle while driving can cause flat spots in the tires and instability. You are now ready to lower the tag axle. One thing to keep in mind is that if the mixture is put into reverse at any time, you will bypass all safety measures and the tag axle will automatically rise up regardless of the chute location. One way to know if the tag axle is in motion is by listening for the warning alarm that will sound at the rear of the vehicle. Get the big picture of your surroundings before moving by conducting a full circle of safety to identify and eliminate all hazards and prevent accidents such as the one seen here. When setting tag axle hydraulic pressure, refer to the OEM spec plate or decal to see the exact specifications. This spec plate or decal will be located either on the inside of the driver door, on the back of the driver side cab, or mounted next to the bridge block. Use the pressure gauge to set the pressure accordingly to load size and always reset the pressure back to 500 PSI after each load. If the pressure is not set correctly, the mixer will become unstable due to improper weight distribution and the drive tires may even lift off the ground. If the pressure is not continuously maintained by the driver, the pressure valve will completely seize up. Grease all 10 tag axle grease fittings at least once a week. There are 5 on each side of the tag axle. Starting from the middle of the mixer under the drum, 
begin your inspection with a cross member by searching for cracks or stress corrosion from rust. Here we can see an example of a cross member that has cracked in two separate places. Take a look at the cross member bolts to see if any are loose, rusted, or even missing. The cylinder block, pins, and bushings must be examined for cracks, shifting, or any other unusual wear. Take a minute or two to see if you notice what is wrong with the following image. The tag axle cylinder plays a crucial part in the tag axle movement. Inspect it for any hydraulic leaks. Examine the entire tag axle trailer for any cracks in the arms or welds. Inspect the tag axle tires for any uneven wear, flat spots, low air pressure, or cuts in the tire. Only virgin tires should be equipped, never recaps. This is a DOT requirement and CMEX policy. Each tag axle tire will have wheel lug nut indicators. An odd facing wheel indicator can be used as a guide to detect loose or missing lug nuts. Glance over your oil hubcap and make sure your oil hubcap plug is not missing or leaking oil. Check your fender and fender bracket for any cracks or misalignment. The tie rod tube should be completely straight and bent free. Be on the lookout for oil inside of the wheel, since this is a tail sign of a wheel seal leak. Finally, ensure that the tag axle latch hook is locking onto the pin. This is extremely important due to the fact that this latch will stop unintended tag axle deployment in the event that bolts were to break off the trailer or cylinder blocks. When the tag axle is in the up position, the fold over chute must be fully closed lowered all the way down, and latched with a safety chain. Additionally, the chute must be turned all the way to the right and locked with a manual chute lock and air lock. We move the chute to the right because having anything that extends more than three feet past the rear bumper is a DOT violation. This also helps eliminate loose debris from falling and damaging windshields when on the road and reduces injury in the event that a motorist were to strike the mixer from the rear. It is a driver's responsibility to know where the chutes are facing before moving the tag axle. Do not always assume the warning light to be working properly, since it is a mechanical part that is subject to failure. Never walk on any part of the tag axle and avoid walking directly under it when raised to prevent injury in the event of unexpected tag axle deployment. Lastly, keep the tag axle clean and clear of excessive concrete buildup. Since this makes your pre-trip and post-trip inspections more difficult, diminishes mechanical integrity, and therefore puts your safety along with those around you at risk.